Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to energy and power signals. So here is another question. It has been asked to prove that the power of the energy signal is zero over infinite time. So basically the basic condition of energy signal, it has been asked. Okay. So here the basic condition of energy signal is that for an energy signal the total value of energy it is finite okay and power that is equal to zero the average power is zero we know that for a signal xt energy is given by minus phi to phi xt square dt and power is equal to limit t tends to infinity minus t to t x t square dt okay this now here if you see this is a finite value okay lying in between 0 and infinity okay this is a finite value and here this is uh, sorry I have missed one thing it is 1 by 2 t here I missed it okay 1 by 2 t by mistake okay it is t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t minus t to t x t square t t now here this portion focus on this portion okay this portion this is nothing but this energy signal e value e because limit t tends to infinity this becomes minus infinity this becomes infinity plus infinity and this becomes this minus phi to phi x t square dt so we can write the power signal as limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t into how much into e okay 1 by 2 t into e now here e is finite okay it is a finite value here which is the basic condition of energy signal energy is finite we have to prove this this statement so here e is finite t tends to infinity so if t tends to infinity it will become 1 by 2 into infinity which is equal to 1 by infinity which is equal to 0 so 0 multiplied with e it will become 0 0 multiplied with e which is a finite value that will be equal to 0 so here the power of the energy signal is 0 we have proved it so very simple first basic condition of energy signal that you have to show energy is finite the expression of energy that you have to right minus phi to phi x t square dt it has a finite value this is given this is the given thing expression of power is limit t tends to infinity here i miss the 1 by 2 t i added it here 1 by 2 t capital t limit t tends to infinity minus t to t x t square dt now when we substitute t with infinity because it is given here limit t tends to infinity this portion the highlighted portion enclosed in red that becomes equal to minus phi to phi x t square dt which is nothing but the expression of energy this is finite finite value so this becomes this power expression of the power of the signal is becomes 1 by 2 t into e limit t tends to infinity now t tends to infinity it becomes 1 by 2 into infinity which is equal to 1 by infinity which is equal to 0 0 multiplied with a finite value which is e that becomes 0 Okay, so we have proved it. 
so here is another question here we have to prove that the energy of the power signal is infinite over infinite time so again it is basically based on the two important properties of energy and power signal previous question which we discussed it was based on energy signal this is based on power signal so again the important property of power signal is that that for a power signal the average power it has a finite value okay and energy is infinite this is the two basic conditions of a power signal we have to prove that okay now we know that an energy signal the energy of a signal let's say xt for a signal xt the energy is given by the energy is given by minus phi to phi xt square dt this is the expression of energy and the power of a signal that is given by limit capital T tends to infinity 1 by 2 T minus T to T x T square T T. Now we have to prove that for this energy signal x T sorry x T which is the power signal sorry x T which is a power signal the energy of this signal is infinite ok so here according to the two important properties of power signal this power this value it is finite ok this is finite so here we have to deal with this expression of E so we can write this expression ok this expression as ok I am writing it here E is equal to limit t tends to infinity minus t to t x t square dt there will be nothing wrong with it the same thing ok minus phi to phi here I have just added limit t tends to infinity ok then what I can do I multiply 2t in the numerator and then I divide 1 by 2t ok here and minus t to t x t square t t and I put a limit ok limit t tends to infinity ok now if you focus on this part ok this part 1 by 2 t minus t to t x t square d t limit t tends to infinity this part is equal to the power which is finite ok which is finite so basically here energy is equal to limit t tends to infinity 2t multiplied with this power which has a finite value which has a finite value ok t is infinity p is finite so when we multiply 2 into infinity with a finite value p the net result will also be equal to infinity ok so here we have proved that for a power signal energy is equal to infinity very simple ok first write both the expressions of energy signal and power signal energy of the energy signal ok and power here this expression we just made some twist and turns here we expressed it in this form limit t tends to phi minus t to t x t square dt without changing its 
you know nature it stays the same then we multiplied and divided 2t in both numerator and denominator 2t into 1 by 2t then here we the enclosed portion with blue color boundary this is nothing but the expression of the power of the signal okay which is a finite value then infinity multiplied with a finite value that is equal to infinity okay it is a infinite value which is the energy of the signal okay so this is just uh, you know changing the way by which we write the same expression without changing its meaning without changing its value okay so same thing we did for proving that the power of the energy signal is equal to zero same thing which we have done to prove that the energy of the power signal is infinite okay same thing just writing the expression in different ways okay so here you have to be very thorough about the properties of energy and power signals their expressions how to write it in different ways and then it's just about uh, you know making uh, you know making some changes to the expressions modifying it like we did it here 2t into 1 by 2t we did that and then be familiar with the expressions there import the the values that they represent okay